In the 49th estate, in the 49th estate, in the 49th estate, being home feels great. myself. I've been a collector for many years. This is uh, a Yupik mask done by Harry Shavings uh, back in the 60s. Uh, it's a particularly nice piece. Harry was a very well-known carver. Uh, it did work that uh, was sold into the visitor industry very early on. He was originally from Nunavak Island from Macquarie. Really great artist. This is a, a piece, this piece and this uh, piece of loons uh, was done by a very, very good friend of mine, a great artist, Sasha Sagan. And uh, this was an illustration for a book that he published. And this was a gift when I met him for the very first time in Magadan. This is um, when we built a house in 76. One of the things that my wife really wanted was a great room, a dramatic living room, I think is the way she described it. So this is uh, what we came up with. It's got the really, really high ceilings and uh, not just scissor truss, but true, true beams and rafters. And uh, so it's uh, sort of the centerpiece of the house and everything sort of bleeds off of it. It's all uh, Alaskan books, just exclusively on Alaska. And they date back, uh, I think the earliest one uh, was written in the 1700s. And it's a collection that I've put together over my lifetime. There are some volumes uh, about Russia and Russian art, but about 95% of it is all out of print, Alaskana. This is, oh, 80% of my collection. I have other books stuffed everywhere around the house that just sort of accumulate. You look at them today and you look at them as an individual composition, but actually they're costuming. They're part of a, a greater art form. They're part of the dance and, and the storytelling and the play. So we always take them out of context. And they're really the mechanisms with which uh, you transform. And you transform in time, you transform in being, you can transform in world, uh, you can transform in culture. I mean, even a, a bank robber that walks in with his face covered is transforming into an anonymous person. The covering of the face is a fundamental form of transformation. So these are uh, all patterned um, and inspired by the old Kodiak masks, and they all follow uh, the form and substance of that particular art form. I'm a photographer, this is all my work here. Like a cross-section of work that I've done in the past, and, and it just sort of kind of accumulates here for, a, you know, and maybe it was a show or something that's leftover stuff, but. It's, it's a lot of Alaska stuff. The top is all Alaska. In fact, the top is all Kodiak Island, including the priest. Um, but this particular photo was taken in Italy. Siena, I think. I'd have to check and see. And the statue uh, was taken in Russia. I um, collected them all over the world. And um, after the Soviet Union uh, dissolved, uh, there were just lots of them around. <coughs> and um, then about five years afterwards, they actually were making counterfeit um, ones. But um, I've collected them all over the Soviet Union, former Soviet Union, and all over the uh, Eastern Europe and Western Europe. I bought some in France, I bought some in Germany. Um, the collection represents about 10 years of collecting. The original, oh, oh, this is second class, first class order of the Great Patriotic War. When it first came out, it came out on this bar, and this is solid gold behind it. And then it was reissued without the bar on a solid piece, and it's also gold. And then it was reissued again to the veterans, and it's all one piece, and there's no gold in it. In the 49th estate, in the 49th estate, in the 49th estate, being home feels great.